Welcome, friends, to another episode of Feed the Beast Infinity on the Rycraft server with me, Clobber Stomp. What's up, peeps? How you doing? As you can see, I'm all decked out. Oh, baby. We've got the Man of Steel armor going on. Check this. So we've got an armor set, 10% uh, less mana cost on tools. Now, I had a whole bunch of mana uh, steel that I had made, and... I wasn't using it, so I thought, well, what better time to be using it than now? So I figured we'd get it going. And the reason for that is we killed a wither. You see my cool wings? You see my fancy wings? Look at my wings. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. These are sweet. Check this out. Creative flight, peeps. Oh, man. These are so cool. So check this out. Angel wings. Now, these were tough to make because you need the nether star. So we had to kill a wither. And there was a bunch of stuff that Turtles and I did off camera, way down in the down there. And we went and killed a wither, and there was a lot of stuff. I wish I would have recorded some of it because it was kind of kind of fun. But, oh, before I forget, I always forget this. Everybody, welcome Apex Gamester. Apex. Apex is on Rycraft. He joined us. You guys have probably already seen some of his stuff if you haven't. I keep forgetting to mention him. He's in the down there. He's down there. Check him out. Dude is totally awesome. Check out his stuff. I think he's got a FIFA uh, World Cup game series going on right now. Check him out. He's super cool. Um, so yeah, he joined us. He's from the rack and we got things going with him. So pretty awesome stuff. So welcome Apex. I know I've been waiting a few videos to do this. I'm sorry I forgot. Um, because we didn't really like do a formal thing, but here's my formal thing. Welcome, buddy. Yeah. Welcome. So, all right, enough of that. Uh, what do we have to do today? Oh, some other upgrades. Um, look at this. We've got to a lava generator with no lava there, but <laughs> we moved the lava from over here, over here, because what I found was... These cables, they all keep, as you can see, they've got 5120 RF in them. I had the solar panels out there, and I think, do I have them here? I upgraded, I made two of these things. It took forever to make these. I used pretty much practically most of my diamonds to make these things, because they're a real pain. Like, look at solar. And so each one of these needs eight of these, which means a diamond block. So that's like 64 diamond blocks. That's a lot of blah. It's a lot of diamonds. I like used all my diamonds for these. To think that this would keep up, and it doesn't. It just sits here and ticks away, and it never catches up. So I'm like, you know what? Let's make one of these lava generators, which are way easier to make. Look at lava generators. Look at these are so easy. Look at that. So some gold and iron block. Big deal. I had tons of that. Made one of these. And we are completely full. Nothing going on. I also made this other thing. Um, this network tool. And I figured out that if we put this on and we look at the network, we are generating about 30 RF per tick. And we can change this up here like this. Joules, AE, and all that stuff. But we use RF. So... It was doing about 25 to 30 RF per tick, which was not bad. When I had this hooked up, our super growth accelerator, our, our monster super puddle, the it's like 100. And this thing just drains. So I figured, you know what? We're not to the point where we can really have AE yet. I haven't filled this up. So we're keeping up. I mean, it, it does work. But as you can see, it's doing, it's taking away 100 RF per tick. And, you know, I just don't, we don't have the power for it yet. So, and I don't want to keep draining stuff, so I took it, I took it down. But that's a cool thing. We've got our energy acceptor. We're not to the point where we can really use AE yet. We need to make a, a big reactor. And we're just, we're not there yet, you know? Um... I think I might do this in a in an upcoming episode because we're there. We've got. I want to run a couple other quarries. Um, how much eulorium do we have? Oh, over here, this one. Duh. 
Um, we don't have that much. I don't even know that we have Yellorium. Yellorite, there it is. Um, I hate this thing. I need to just start doing everything with Sagnels because this is kind of a little hokey. It works, but it gets hung up when it's trying to do stuff that's in the system and it doesn't have enough. So it just sits there and kind of hangs. Right now it's going through all the aluminum and doing iron and gold. Um, but yeah, eventually it'll get to yellow, yellow, right? But I don't think we really have that much. Do you have any in there? I don't think I have any in here. No, I don't. So we don't have that much. So we can't really get to a big reactor yet. So we got to do a bunch more quarries. I've only done some small ones. We're going to have to do some bigger ones. Now that we have a mining age. Do you guys see the mining age? Let's go take a look. Oh, these also have uh, no fall damage either. So that's cool. And we run pretty fast because we've got the sojourners sash. Let's go into the mining age and take a look. You guys can see what we did. Um, I did some... A lot of stuff going on. That was where we killed some withers, but they got out and... Apparently there's one here, but I don't know where it is. But yeah, so... I could take a look at this book. The only thing that the problem is, is we get weakness. Well, you know what? That's not that big a deal because it's eternal day. We get flat. There's no mobs and it's always going to be light. So I can deal with a little bit of weakness. Not the best thing in the world, but so it's got a, like very minor instability. Nothing major. And we figured, you know, this is number, hmm, what is it, 20? I think it took us 20 ages to get to that to get to that one so it's been a real pain in the butt so we got that going but today we want to work on oh we're going too fast here we want to start some other stuff because there's some things in this game that we just never touched in the last series and we want to get into them so let's get started we want to look at blood magic let's see all right, let's start with this. Let's make one of these guys. So we need some diamonds. We need... What was all that stuff? Uh, a furnace. I think we got a furnace here. Yeah, we got a furnace. We need some... Stone. We've got four stone. Four stone. And what was the last piece? Two pieces of gold. And we got some gold. All right, let's make this bad boy. Oh, we can keep that transfer. No, we don't need him. And we got a blood altar. Okay. So where should we put this guy? Um. Hmm. Let's see. I think I want to put him over here. I think I got to move those. You know what? I'm going to move some of this stuff and we're going to organize this a little bit and we'll be right back because I want to I want to put this over here. So we'll be right back. All right, guys, we're back and I got everything moved a little bit out of the way. And let's put this guy down. Um, where do we want to put him? Six from one, two, three. Uh, let's do it sideways. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. What do you think? You know what? Let's go seven. Seven sounds like a good number on each side. Bam! There we go. We've got a blood altar, peeps. Look at that. So we can't really do anything with it yet because... I believe we need to make the sacrificial knife. I think it's called. I'm looking for it here. Let's look it up because I can't find it. Sac. There we go. This guy. That's creative. Dagger of sacrifice. 
Is that it? Oh, I guess it's the sacrificial orb. Okay, let's try that. So we need iron, gold, and some glass. That seems easy enough, right? All right. Let's get this going. One of these guys. Mm, we don't have any iron in here. What? All right. And some glass. And then a piece of iron. There we go. We'll just take a couple because I don't know if we're going to need any more. I am a total noob when it comes to the blood magic. I know the basics. Alright, so I think if we get close to our deal, we use it. Oh, there we go. See, it took our heart away. So we have to be very careful with this. Okay, because I think, I'm pretty sure you can kill yourself. So we're going to make sure we put this away. Now, I think we've got stuff in there. Now, what we can do right away. Uh, do we have a chest? Yeah, let's put a chest over there. We don't got to keep running back and forth. We're going to put our orb in here. Well, we'll keep that in our inventory. We're going to need that diamond. I think what we can do is place one of these guys in there. Oh, look at the swirlies. There we go. Particle effects. Sweet. So this is going to make, if I understand correctly, a slate. Blood magic. It's going to make a blank slate. Yup. And we need some more LP. Life points, I believe it stands for. So this is going to be difficult because at the beginning it's a little tough to do. So, oh wait, it already made a blank slate. Cool. There we go. We got one. Woohoo. Now what can we do with it? I think there's, there's a way to make a division sigil, I think is the first thing we need to make. This guy. Oh, we need to make an orb. How do we make an orb? Um, the weak blood orb. Oh yeah, diamond. That's why I grabbed that second diamond. There we go. Let's put that guy in there. There we go. Woohoo! Five. So we're going to need to figure out how to get regenerative properties. I think there's... There's these talismans. Um, talisman of Nourishment. Currently holds zero food points and zero saturation, saturation points. So we're going to need to get into Thalmcraft so we can get this. Because I think this is one of the only ways. There might be others. I'm going to have to take a look. But I know that if you make this, um, it will eat the food that you have in your inventory automatically. Which is good because we need all of the as much food as we can get because obviously we're when we're low we're going to keep losing all of our hunger points and oh there we go we got a we got a blood orb okay so how do we make that thing we need to make the division sigil so blood i think it's on the next page and we need eight glass we need that blood orb a blank slate which we have and this and what this is going to do is, I believe, if memory serves, we can put our blood orb here. I hope it doesn't use that thing. Does it use the orb? Oh, God, that's one diamond to make this? Oh, thank gosh. Okay, cool. Great. Oh, great. So we've got, now if we click, it'll tell us how much is in there. So it's got 134 LP right now, and it can hold 10,000. Also, um, we're going to need some more hearts. I believe in Botania, when we get to... What is it? Botania? What? Really? That's it? Oh, we're going to have to look at our book. In Botania... Why doesn't it... Oh, there we go. Whoops. There's... We've got the Mana Steel armor. 
Let's find the armors real quick. Did I pass it? Nope. Um, the next one to make is Terra Steel. Now, I think regen if, even if hunger isn't topped off. So this has regen all the time. So we want to get to this because this is really good. And I think that these, I'm pretty, I could be wrong. I can't remember. I think the armor steel or the Terra Steel actually gives you more hearts. So I think you get another 10 hearts, or there's some sort of sash you can make. I'm going to have to look into that, but... Equipable amulet slot. Yeah, I'm going to have to figure that out, because... And then there's elemental... Elementium. I've never made that in Batania. I haven't got that far into, but we're going to get into all of those. So let's get this filled up a little bit more. And see where we're at. So how much do we have in there now? 23, 1. Oh! I think if I do this correctly, right click. Oh, that takes half away. Is it shift right click? Ooh, I gotta be careful. Okay, so this is already, it, it's, it's the owner is me. So cool, we've got the sacrificial orb. I think we can bind this to us too. Is that bound to us? Yep. If you right click on items in Blood Magic, they bind to you. So this is my division divination sigil. Nobody can use it. I think I said division sigil before. I'm sorry. Divination sigil. So this will tell us what's in our system at any one time, which is great. So now if we use the blood orb, that will fill the blood orb. Which is great. If we use a sacrificial orb, it will fill our blood altar. Oh, look at. Okay, so we've got, you see our little health bar on the left that came up? That means it shows us at any one time. I wonder if it has a range. Does it have a range? Do you guys know? Look at, I guess not. So that's cool. Wherever we're at in the world, we can put up our division sigil, divination sigil. And we could see what's in our network. So the current essence that's in my divination sigil is 1600, but in my altar is 20, 2134. I don't know exactly how they all link, but that's the first part, anyways. So let's take a look at what else we can start making. We can start making these runic blocks. So we need to make a bunch of like slates and some stone. So let's get some stuff cooking up here. Um, there we go. We're gonna wanna cook you up. Definitely need that. So I'm so glad that we're finally done with, <coughs> excuse me. Dealing with jetpacks. I'm just so done with the jetpacks. It's just not, it's not really all that fun. All right, let's put those all back in there. Great. And I thought there was a way, do we have a hopper? I think there was a way to put all of the, a whole stack of, yeah, there we go. So if you place that on there, I think we can put a whole stack of stone in there. Let's try this. And it will just fill it up. Oh, there we go. So it's going to do a bunch of Blake slates. Now, the reason I'm doing this is because we're going to need them. Um, we definitely are going to need Blake slates. I think they're, that's kind of the... Blake slates are kind of the core of pretty much everything you do in blood magic. So we're going to make up a whole bunch of these. What are we at here? 1504. Wow, that uses a ton. Holy crap. I just don't. We're going to have to figure out how to get some regen here. Because this is... Wow. That just uses so much essence or life points. Now it's got zero.
Yeah, this is just this is going to be tough. We're going to have to get something that has regenerative properties. Um, I know in Monster, there was these these crystals that you could make. Do we have? Does this pack have those? Um, no. No, this doesn't have them. There was these different crystals you could make that gave you regen. And you can get like regen 3 on these. It was nuts. So you could just sit here and just keep giving a ton away. But this doesn't really work all that well. So we're going to have to figure out how to get more uh, LP into our system faster. Because that's just so much stuff. So I'm going to let these all cook up. I think that's a good start to blood magic. What do you guys think? I'm going to see, I'm going to check the time on the episode and if it's no good then we'll be I'm going to be back anyways to either close out or we're going to do a little bit more. So I'll be right back. And we're back. Check it out. Look at all of those slates. Now, that I found out a couple things. Um being that I don't know a lot about blood magic, I made some mistakes here. Okay. So Putting all of these in here at one time was a mistake because apparently each one of them takes 1,000. Well, that's 1,000 times 64. That's 64,000 essence. So I sat here for a couple hours sacrificing myself over and over and over and over and over again only to take them out and thought I thought something was wrong. So I was like, well, I'll just take them out I took them out and realized that I was probably about halfway done with them and then I had to start all over again so in the beginning don't use a bunch of your LP because um, doing a whole stack is not very good it's not efficient it really sucks actually a lot so we're gonna put those up there I'm gonna let this sit and we're gonna build this back up again but um, so yeah, I tested with one, I put one in here and it took 1000. So let's take one, we'll place it in there. And what did we have before? We had like 18 something. So this will go through and it should finish like at about 800 something. So yeah, 869. So it takes 1000 per block per slate. So, um, at, in the beginning, Obviously, you don't need to use that many. Um, I like to do things in stacks because it's modded. That's kind of how we roll. But let's take a look at what other stuff we can make since we're here. we got a little bit of time left. And I don't really know. There's a couple things here. So what do we need? A lava sigil, a water sigil, infinite lava. That's kind of cool. What does that require? So bucket, slate, and our our orb but we don't have oh it does work with a weak one okay what other sigils we've got an air sigil fast minor elemental affinity perfect for fire breathing fish who are afraid of heights <laughs> of <coughs> excuse me avoid sigil oh, I bet that like deletes items what other ones do we have Sigil of Haste, Sigil of Holding, Divination Sigil. What are these other ones that we have? Whirlwind, Imbune Slate, Demonic Slate, Phantom Bridge. Oh, that's kind of cool. The Blood Lamp. What does this require? Oh, we need a pretty decent orb to get this imbune slates which means you need to reinforce slate which you need tier two blood altar we I think only have a tier one so we're not ready to get to that stuff yet maybe some of this other stuff we can let's try some of these other ones like I guess let's do the water one because um, that's probably easiest okay so we need seven buckets of water and a slate and our orb and I think I have them in my bag. Let's take a look. Yep, in my bag. Oh, perfect, right like in half. I've got our water here. 
All right, seven. Great. Uh, so let's take the water one and go bam. What? What am I missing? Oh, I don't have a blank slate on me. Oh, that would help. There we go. There's one. Now this should work. I think we're going to move one of these. I think we're going to need to make another crafting station, to be honest with you. I can get that done off camera, though. All right, so that doesn't... Shift clickies doesn't work. You'd think it would. Come on, people. Let's go blood magic. Apparently you're so OP, you can't do this. Awesome. Oh, and we get our buckets back, so that's super cool. And I'm going to think that the lava one is just with lava. Ooh, a lava crystal. Ooh. That requires some other things, too. Let's make... What does that one do? Contact with liquid is highly un highly unrecommended. Hmm. Well, let's see what this does. Holy crap. Oh, look at that. And it like doesn't it doesn't spread either. It just places a source block. Very cool. Can I pick it up? And it picks it up too. Wow. Okay, infinite lava source. That's cool. That is awesome. Let's make another one of these. Void sigil, air sigil. Let's make that one. So we need some feathers. We we don't have a tier two, so we can't make that guy. Uh, we can make him. What other one do we have? Fast miner, that needs a second one. Oh, that, that needs imbued. So I think the only other one that we can make is actually the lava one. So. Let's make a lava crystal. So we need three buckets of lava. We're going to place this water back because we don't need it. Bucket. Three. All right. So let's place these guys in there. We'll place you there like so. What was the other piece we needed? A diamond and two obsidian. Well, we got plenty of obsidian. And we need a diamond. There we go. Perfect. Diamond, obsidian, and what was the other pieces? Lava crystal, two glass. Oh, that works out. We got a lava crystal. Now we can put this guy here. Actually, that goes in the middle. Lava crystal goes here. I'm a liar. We don't actually need the blood orb for that. Um, we need six buckets of lava, though. Five more. Five. We need another slate. See, I'm glad I made all those, even though it was a real pain in the butt. Probably should have waited to do all of that stuff, but that's fine. I got through it. I learned a valuable lesson. Now I know never to do that again. And I think we need a magma cream which we have one, and I think we've got now a lava sigil. Does this do the same thing? I don't want to test this in my base, because this could cause some damage, so let's do this down here. Oh my gosh, look at that. Lava. Cool. We have infinite ways to get lava. That's fantastic. Oh, lava and water, so awesome. That's great. And I don't think we can make any other ones because I think we need a tier two. Well, how do we make? I think. I don't think we've got enough. Oh, we do. I can make a bunch of these. Um, slates. I think we need eight. Can we make enough? All right, so. Let's try it. Let's see if we can get to a tier two in the first episode for blood magic. So the blood orb goes in the middle. Zoomp. Oh, shoot. Shoot. There. There. We need eight of these, I think. Six, seven, eight. And I'm sure I'm doing this wrong. If I am, tell me. And I can. we can figure out together which way we're doing it. All right, so I think if we get rid of 
all of these. I don't know if we need the ninth one or not. Let's see. I think if we place these all down here, we will now have a tier two, which means I think we could then make the next orb. Is it a tier two? Oh, what about, let's check it with our orb. No, um, it's a tier two. Great. That's awesome. And let's get our sacrificial. Oh, can we do a, let's do a shift clicky on it. All right, so we've got a tier two. So that means we can make that air one. But I don't think we've got reinforced slate. So we're going to put a regular one in there. And we need a gas tier, which I have. Do we have feathers? That'd be cool if we can make this right off the bat. That'd be awesome. But I don't think I have enough feathers. I need six. I've only got one. Crapola. Well, we're not making that. Unless I got them somewhere else, which I don't think we do. Unless they're down in our Botania area. Let's check that out. Let's just see. Maybe we'll get lucky. Do we have any feathers? No. Shoot. Oh, well. Well, we tried. I think we're kind of out of time anyways. Well, okay. So, I think there's the next blood orb. What's the next one? Apprentice blood orb. Tier 2. Oh, we could just make that with an emerald. Oh, it requires 5,000. What do we have in there now? Oh, not even close. So, all right, guys. I think that's going to be it for us. So, we got a really good start on blood magic. Pretty cool. I'm excited. We're going to be learning more stuff about this. If you guys like this video, go ahead and slap that like button right in the mouth. Uh, I love, I, I, this was cool. I really like learning some of this stuff. So, if uh, there's some stuff I missed, I know that I'm not, an expert in this so leave some, leave your comments below i'd love to hear them so we can get better at this all together that'd be great as always check out my patreon campaign i'd really love it and uh share all my stuff on your favorite social media all right guys you guys have an awesome day peace